You know that thing that idols will do? Well, they're, they'll make their under eye like super puffy. prominent and puffy. Girl, we don't need that, girl. What is your favorite season? Allergies. Allergies. Welcome back to another episode of Boys Love Fantasy Boyge. We're back with the continuation of the visual mission. Visual Mij- mission. Visual mission. Visual mission. Uh-huh. We've got four performances stacked and ready to go. 90s Love by NCTU. Boy, Boy in, in Love by Bangtan Sonyandan. Crown, Crown by, by Dubadu. Dubadu. Wadi wadi. And finally, Deja Vu by Beyonce. By AT. <gasps> Imagine if they did If they f- covered Beyonce. Yeah. I mean, Kiko did it. We wouldn't have been able to watch it. Yes. Miss Vicky would have been like. Miss Vicky would be like, girl, you think. This is a very hard show to watch, <laughs> and I'm getting very annoyed. Like, I had the same question with Boys Planet, where yeah. I was like, your you stuff too. is already subtitled to some extent, because it's in other locations subtitled. So why are you not just it's transferring be- those to It's because YouTube? Vicky has their own subbers. That's why it's the thanks Vicky team, the uh, enemies to lovers team, whatever. Yeah. So Vicky has its own suburbs that will go literally like overnight. Whereas the videos online from the actual whatever, that's from them, from NBC. But okay. But then to go back to Boys Planet, they were subbing. That was the thing with Boys Planet. They were subbing all of it. And then they just weren't subbing. And then they weren't just, they just weren't subbing the videos. Right. Which is weird. I wonder if, like, when the live stream is happening, are they, is someone typing furiously? So the live stream, there has to be a closed caption person for, like, I can't believe we're talking about this right now. There has to be a live, there has to be a person doing live Live closed captioning for anything that's not scripted. Anyway, it's just very hard to watch because even those sites that people have sent us, their episodes aren't subbed and ready to go by the time we have to watch it and record an episode. So, right, we are cranking out content, <laughs> so girlies. We, we have to just go by Vicky and what's on YouTube. And yeah. is it a little bit more work on us to like find like, oh, check, make sure you check the Fantasy Boys and the NBC channels to see what's up? A little bit, yeah. But whatever. So, well, let's start <laughs> with our first song. Uh-huh. Which was the song that we couldn't watch. That we couldn't watch. So this is where the conversation comes into play. I wonder wonder if it's an SM thing. Is there a sample that's being used in 90s love? Because it's so like Western 90s that I wonder if it's like... I wonder if they are sampling something. They're sampling something that only has rights to be like whatever shown on TV outside of the US. That's probably correct. I don't know though. Because I think all the stuff that got that got taken down from Vicky during the auditions was all the like there were people American who did songs, like yeah. yeah. What's frustrating though is they didn't even include the package ahead of time. Like I understand you okay you don't show us the performance you you maybe like sub a different song in while they're like doing the rehearsal or whatever. Yeah. But like to not show the package feels like we don't know frustrating. Who, if if people are watching Vicky to vote. Like, I wouldn't know. There's just seven people that I will never know. The big story from what we gathered from the unsubbed video right. on YouTube. From facial expressions, from sound tunes, effects, from inflection. Yeah. Was that Miss sang could not get a part. Right. And kept trying. And kept trying, but they were like. Because there is someone later who couldn't get a part because they were just like, I'm okay. But we'll talk yes. about them in a second. Yeah. Um, w- kept trying, but just like wasn't like standing out. And I, from right. what I gather, I think it is that he just wasn't standing out. And I think that's why he ends up like doing the ab thing to be like, sure, here's my moment. This is my moment. Sure, Jasmine Kennedy. Yeah, very that. <laughs> Absolutely. But with '90s Love, what did you think? Number and who who would you have voted? Okay, so I thought the song was good. I thought the song was really good. I really like. There's like one. There's one costuming choice that we should know better. It just feels we should know better. Where I mean, they're going for like a time period too. Like they're going for a '90s aesthetic. But, but everyone... I just feel like you're treading on the the ice is getting thin. It's always headwear too. It's, it's always, always headwear, baby. Let's just not do that anymore. Girls. Yeah. 
So from the eyes down, Shantae was great. I do think that Sangu, so they gave him this whole narrative that we don't know about. Um, I thought he was like, when you watch the full cam, because I went back just to watch like the like not uncut, just one shot the whole time. Yeah. He just like keeps checking his position. Like he's very cognizant that he's like, has to hit his marks. Yeah. And you can like see him doing that. He keeps checking that. for spike tape marks. Right. Or just like how Position he's lined up with or, everybody else. Yeah. And I think like that, while I understand like that's important, one of the impressive parts of K-pop is always they're able to, the ability to like transition so seamlessly. Mm -hmm. It does need to not be obvious. Yeah. Like you can't like, I can't notice you looking. Yeah. Because then it takes me out of the performance. It, I happen to be in a perfect triangle. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is like one of the reasons I love it. Yeah. But I can't see you. I don't want to see the technique. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. want to see you in the practice room looking at the mirror, seeing where everyone is. Yeah. That's kind of the part of the part of performing that you you can't see that. Correct. And I think he had a really hard time standing out yeah and it it just doesn't really pay off because on stage you can see that he's i think in the in a world he could be like a person that just inherently does that maybe he's just a little too green still that like he's sure. so conscious about it because i didn't even feel like he wasn't there's sometimes where it's like you can feel that they're unconfident yeah or not as confident i don't even know if unconfident is the word but yeah not as confident. And I didn't feel like that was his issue. No. I just feel like he was still like... He was calculating yes. the entire time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What did you think? I thought it was good. I mean, I really like the song. The song is so good. It's a bop. I was it telling a, Adam, I wish the song came out now because we're such in a 90s, like, nostalgic vibe. Yeah. Um, I think the standouts were very clear that it was Hikaru and Hyunte. Um, I felt like Minsa also like stood out. There was a moment when they did the killing part. It just didn't sound correctly. They didn't sound as blended as I think they should be. But everyone looked like they were having fun. Sure. Which is like. I mean, that's the that's the like vibe of the song. It's just like f we're just teens having fun, just yeah. teening around. Yeah. Teens being teens. Well, it's, it's giving. Um, we're in the. Court. We all remember. <laughs> We're just, you know, we're on the courts, having fun. Having a good shooting time. Shooting hoops. Shooting hoops. Shooting hoops. So guys, who, you, if you weren't alive in the 90s, basketball was so big. Basketball I can't, was I can't huge, even explain guys. to you how They're big basketball was. Basketball. Basketball. We're going to get copyright struck. Who would you have voted for as your visual one? Okay, so I, I picked... Kang Hyunwoo. Kang Hyunwoo. Okay, he had he was he was ranked like eleventh. He's in the debut now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I just thought he stood out to me, and I felt like today, you know, because it varies day by day, day by day. day. Where did this is, an, this is a singing episode? I feel like today I was like I'm picking the person who I think like matched the song's vibe, mm -hmm. tone, energy. Out of everyone, I noticed him doing like kind of being like fun and playful, but yes. still like solid vocals, solid, you know, stable stability. Yeah. 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 So I would have picked Hikaru. Hate to tell you girls. He yeah. ate. He's really good. He's, He's really very good. good. Also very solid and stable. And there were moments where I was like, I feel like I'm looking at a stretched out taller version of Mark Lee right now in this number. Yeah. He just like had that like swagger and charisma. He also kind of has like similar, like facial features. similar facial features as well. Yeah, I think that I thought it was. Yeah, great. I see that. But the audience Sparkly. voted Miss Hyunte. They said, "Give me more of that I little little Hyunte." <laughs> he was so good. His little like how he starts the song is great. I he mean, did the he, worm. He does. He gets to do. He gets to be the center during the mm -hmm. like dance break. He's really good. He's really good. Uh, like with Boys Planet, I felt like. There was so much variability, especially with all 98 trainees mm -hmm. of like experience and ability and charm. So you were almost easy. It was more easy to be like, oh, this was the standout of the group. Whereas like all of them, 
I'm not saying that all of them are great or all of them are bad, but like there, the spectrum is so much narrower, narrower that I had like a real hard time, like trying to pick, especially in like a couple of these, like trying to pick a specific like Person standout yeah. because yeah. a, I still feel like I don't know everybody and that's understandable, but, um, they're not like, they're not such stars that I was like, oh, I'm like latching on to this. Like yeah. there are a couple, there are definitely some. I'm not saying there's none, but. Uh, I almost think you have to, what you did today of like, just focus on this one number, watching this performance. If I was like, if I was at KCON and watching a group up there, right. who's going to yes. catch my attention? If I'm watching like M Countdown and I'm just watching the whole episode, not just specifically like the Seeking group that I want to see or whatever. Yeah. And I was watching the whole episode and I was just watching like in the audience, seeing this group that I didn't know who would be the one that I would be like, Oh, who is that? Who's that? Who's that? And then you, <laughs> what was that? Um, the, it's crazy how stable everyone is. Yeah. Cause they're like performing. And even on boys planet, there was like some, there were some people who were like still had a hard time, like doing certain stuff. Whereas like, I feel like the on, the only people who like performed poorly, it was like a, a one note here of of this beat yeah, there. Like, yeah. I don't Which, know if that makes it more exciting or less exciting. That's the but. thing. I think now it may it's a little less. I feel like it is a little less exciting because you're not seeing either like a journey of growth. starting, yeah, seeing growth, but then also like you're not seeing as much personality too. I feel like right, yeah. Okay, next, boy in love. <laughs> Back in the day when Tae Young was like, I'm, I'm a, a growler. growler. Boy in love. Is Oof. that snow? Girl. Girl in snow. The snow. On April 20th. So, the Miss Narrative here was <laughs> Yure won the heart <sighs> fluttering part, and it was a vocal part, and he can't match pitch. He is not a, I mean, he is decidedly not a vocalist. Because when they ended up switching the parts, which had to be like kind of drawn out, he had to like show to the masters, like, I can't sing this. I'm trying. I'm trying. Can't match pitch, all of that. Uh, up until the midterms when they were like, guys, you can't sing this part. Right. He like, he the can't progress even report, to- you're getting an F. I hate to tell you. I'm so sorry. So he does get swapped to a rapper and then, you know, they show him obviously crying. It's right. so, it sucks because it's fully like, it's not because of not trying. It's because like, he just can't do it. And, and also like, he didn't even, did not decide to be the killing part. If he had known that it would be the vocal, like he wouldn't have. And you can even tell he, it's not like he was trying extra hard to like win the runway challenge. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. He was just like people just are drawn to him. And I think that's I mean, like in his audition, I think that's why the producers were like, oh, we'll give him grade one. He's just still he's just still very green and has a lot of like training to do. Yeah. And it sucks that he like had to go through this for them to be like, we're going to take this away from you. But like it shouldn't have been given to him in the first place. Yes. And like had it been a normal who wants to be the killing part? Everybody like a more boys' playing style. Yeah, he would, he would not, not have gotten have, it. He would not have asked for it. Right? No, he wouldn't have asked for it. Yeah, I so. did appreciate though that they did. They did not force it to happen just because that was. It's the like setup. you have to do this. Yeah, correct. They were like, no, let's actually like change. The it. producers were fully like. The producers are actually producing these numbers. Yeah, they're fully like this doesn't look or sound good. Let's change this up. Even though, yes, will this be an enjoyable performance for the audience yeah. to watch? Which is like, and it wouldn't have been. <laughs> which I even like. I do like that because the the trainees are getting that experience of like, yes, like give us direction. Right, they're being directed. It's not just like, oh, we're still doing vocal training, we're still doing like dance training, blah blah blah, but yeah. also like. The produ- production aspect of like working as a group, making sure it's cohesive. Da, da, I da, mean, da, it's da. summer stock. It's like it's a, it's a camp. Like it's fully like idol camp. Mm-hmm. It's giving What's um, the one in Michigan. What, it's giving interlocking. interlocking. It's giving interlocking. <laughs> interlocking and for K-pop. the girls that know. No, for the MT girls that know. You know. You know. 
Um, it, it is, is fully snowing, snowing right behind so you. Mad. It's so annoying. Oh, it cool. is fully snowing. Who would you have picked? Well, the other narrative, oh. too, was their leader. Oh, well, don't forget. <laughs> the leader was fully just like, well, there were like arguing members because there was someone that was like, they're really bringing us down because Yaya can't even fucking. <laughs> Yaya has five left feet. And I can't, he oh. can't, he is taking forever to learn this. Yuri can't sing. What are we doing? And Daehyun, Mr. Muscle Bear, was fully like, girl, it's a team. I don't know what to tell you. We have to, we have to adapt, girl. Let's help them or do, let's do something. There's no point in being mad at it. They pushed, and especially in this challenge, they pushed, they kept saying it was like an individual challenge. And like... We yes. all understand that it's an individual's journey, journey, but like I feel like because they kept reinforcing that, the trainees started we're to be not, like, "It's all for me," and not like we're not thinking of the team. Yeah, and I liked that Dayon was like, "What? It, no, With, <laughs> this is still a team song." Like, yeah, it do, no. I was very happy that he like put his foot down. Yeah, because no, it's not. Um, I picked Jamin. He was okay, so three. he was miss. He was like functioning as leader. Yeah, yeah. I think I would have put Dayhan. <laughs> I'm not even looking at the camera because I just keep watching the, the snow, snow get stronger. Snow. This is so fun. It won't be long before we'll all be there with snow. So the audience voted, and the winner of this week's challenge is Kang Dayan. Kang Daehyun. They agreed with me. They said, give me that man. This man, okay, here's what I'm going to say. He's wearing way too much clothing. And I, do, I just mean to say, like, why are we wearing a shirt and a jacket? Just, like, take the jacket off. Like, wear a t-shirt. It's, giving, you know it's giving Chanel, you know, take one thing off before you leave. Before you walk out of your before house, you walk take out of your house, one just thing like, off. Take one thing off. That is golden rule. Golden rule. Right. Next. Now... <sighs> Guys, you already know Miss <laughs> Dubadu over here. When I tell you that he would not stop singing along, I can't which Adam's not even like really that person, unless it's something that he truly loves. I know, like he will do it to Sound of Music, he will do it to Mary Robbins, he will do it to White Christmas, I will and do he will it do, it to do it to Dubadu Ariwari. He will do it to TXT. Uh, that I just kept being like, I, I'll just watch this video later by myself. <laughs> I can't help it. I was doing it when we were rewatching it right before we recorded. So they did Crown by did TXT. Crown. In Marine Luke's. In Marine Luke's. In very Sailor Boy Luke's. What was their narrative? The rent is too damn high and the song is too damn high. Yes. Hikari was... Well, okay, two things. So Caden was just like, I don't need a part. Thanks. I just, I can't, I can't, I really can't do this. He song, was like, so I just, want the English part. And they were like, okay, well, this part has English in it. And he was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying like, I'm like I just the, want the <laughs> three or four words in English. You're not understanding. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Which, <laughs> Kaden? Kaden? Every episode. Was born, wait, in 2009. 2000 and, 2000, two, 2009. Was 14 years ago. Girl. <laughs> and like age is whatever. Because we keep. We always keep aging. Famously like, that's how age works. Is that it keeps going. It keeps going. It never really stops. It really but stops. like it really. When he was like. I was born in 2009. I literally had to like pause the, the video. Because I was like. Girl I was shopping at Old Navy in 2009. Okay. I was getting this my little baby cargo was shorts. Born because he's American in the Obama administration. <laughs> <laughs> this baby was born after Sarah Palin. This baby does not know. I can see Russia from my house. Oh yeah. Has no idea. Has no idea. He was All that four when frozen came out. <laughs> what? <laughs> All that to say, Caden was like, if I can't sing He it, was born the year Princess and the Frog came out. I mean, I just like, I just, I can't get over it. I just, I, here's why I'm so shocked is because like, I remember getting into TXT and I was like, wow, 2002 is, is like, that's 10 years younger than me. 
That's so young. And then I got into an hype in it. And I was like, oh my God, Nikki is so young. And Nikki is young, but like I was like, Nikki is so young. Two- oh, nine? When are you going to stop? When are you going to stop looking at new eyes? Or like, when are you going to stop? Period. When are you going to stop, Adam? <laughs> Do you have a threshold if you're fully We're not late? even releasing these. This is a road to recovery. Is what this, is. <laughs> this is actually Jesus. This is actually an, an intervention. intervention. <laughs> but anyway, all that to say. He was born after the show Intervention. <laughs> all on that, e? I think it was on E. All that to say. Yeah. Caden was like, if I can't sing. Caden was being a 14 year old. Caden was being a 14 year old. If I can't sing a part, I'm not going to audition. I'm not going to pick it. And also he was, you know, being very generous and polite. So he's like, I don't want to. Yeah. 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 I genuinely don't want it. So like, please, it's okay. But literally everyone from Hyunbin, Soki, like everyone was like, Caden, but you have to try. They told you to try. Yeah. So you have to try. Yeah. So he ended up getting one line. I yeah, think. I think he's saying in it. And he looked like he enjoyed, like he was smiling the entire time he was lip syncing. He, he enjoyed the performance. I mean, I, I can't even, I, I literally can't talk about this performance. I mean, the whole group. I, because ba- this is all I want. This is all, if all music was this, <laughs> and I don't care about any of you people who want alternative whatever, I want that to like the day I die. I just like bright, happy, refreshing, refreshing, happy, pure because, you know, pop. Crown is like poppy pop. Yeah. Because girl, oh. we've we've been sad. We've done that. Who cares? We've been angsty. Uh, we went through Avril so Lavigne. We went through I li- we, it, you know who didn't live through it? <laughs> Kaden. <laughs> We've gone through angst. Yeah, yeah. It's been a rough couple of years. I don't know if you guys knew. <laughs> the, la- the last three years have been tough. So, and I, uh, yeah, I, I can't. I mean, I loved. But this. I do remember the first time I ever saw Crown. You yes, were there. I was there because I watched it, and I was like, I keep seeing this little Subin girl on Who's Music she? Bank. Who's she? And I literally had to like pause it and like walk away because I was like, I can't. It was here. I'll show it right now. This specific frame of Subin. I know exactly without even seeing it. I know what frame <laughs> you're talking about. Do you know the number of times that I have watched Cat Cat and Dog? The like when I first got into them, I watched Crown a bunch, and I was like, Crown is great. Crown is great. Angel Angel Devil, great. Cat and Dog. Cat and Dog. I wasn't. I wasn't even okay. I came in. I came in. He came in Blue Hour. No, I did not come in Blue Hour. We were we were post Blue Hour. We I came in when the Chaos Chapter Freeze trailer <gasps> dropped. We and came in w- right before Zero by One. So yeah, first of all, that trailer is iconic. I literally am only going to talk about TXT for the next three minutes. Just oh give me three goodness. minutes. And the trailer is iconic. And go watch it if you have never seen it. Here's some of it right here. Okay. When I went back and I watched Blue Hour, my Soul left my body. I, I, I ascended to a higher plane of existence. Mm-hmm. And I literally was like, imagine I've never had this experience. I've never, unfortunately, all the groups that I'm into, all of their comebacks, none of them have ever been that to that extent of bright yeah. as Blue Hour. And I was sitting there watching it being like, I don't know what I would do if it was like midnight and I was waiting for the MV drop. And you get and this. I got that. I mean, like I would, I would, I would, I would, I would spontaneously combust. <laughs> I don't know. I would just stop existing. It's just, oh, it's so good. All that to say, who would you have picked in this number as your visual <sighs> one peak? Again, not based on visuals. In concept, the, concept, the concept, concept, concept. Yeah. I want to make that clear before I say who I'm going to say. Kang Rung. The brightest smile 
on that stage. Very Matthew energy, Drink oh, Say yeah. My Name, of just like smiley, is, having fun. Yeah. When you watch his fan cam, he's definitely like singing along to every line of the song, which like you're not supposed to do, but like he can't help himself. Wearing a sailor hat, Wearing you a could sailor say hat. the beret of the seas, you know. One could say, One could say it is the beret of the ocean. Um, he's, he is wearing also like platform shoes. So he has like a little bit of extra height. Cause I think he is the shortest one in the group. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Also, it was so hard to pick Yeah, it was really because hard to pick. there were like four options that I had yeah. that I was like, here's what I'll say about the <laughs> underage contestants of fantasy boys versus BP kind of here. We have Hyonte and Irang, which I would say are like. Golden Magnes, where they have the talent and the charisma and the confidence. Yes. If they're acting, they're, I was telling Adam, Kang Rang reminds me of a very precocious child of like wanting to sit with the adults, talking to them. Like he takes it, like he's acting like an adult. So like, me. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah, very Adam. Because like truly, I was, I was like, thir- I like, I hit sixth grade and I was like, because sixth grade was when I went to a new school. It was like intermediate school. And I was like, I'm an adult now. I'm not watching Cartoon Network anymore, mother. I'm watching Medium with you on Monday nights on NBC at nine o'clock. Because you know why? Patricia Arquette is a talent. <laughs> no one is giving it it's like a, Patricia Arquette. She's a national treasure. Absolutely, mother. Can you turn on the nightly news, Mom? I need to catch up. Me and me and Tom Brokaw have a date <laughs> plan tonight, and it's talking about the news. Fully God, fun. I was the worst. And it was because, like, when 90s love was happening, Irang, when Hyunte was performing, Irang was like, oh, he's my rival. Yeah, it's so what? cute. It's, it's so, so funny. Cute. Like, he's it's fully so just funny. like, he's going to be forever my rival in this show. Because he's, like, fully, like... That is the other Mangne that's like giving the same thing, but like hip hop. And I'm giving yeah. like the bright yeah. version of it. Yeah. The fact that he's even like thinking about that is just like very funny and charming to me. I will never pick him in my 12. I think he should stay a trainee and then debut when he's 18 or 19. Sure. Or at least finish high school. In Boys Planet, I just don't think any of the Mangnes really reach that same level of confidence. Yeah. And charisma. I mean, even Eugen kept having, he like start, his audition was really good. And then they, the star masters just always felt like he never yeah. really lived up to that. I mean, they, I think they just like expected a lot from him. I think like Gyure and Kaden are very much in that level of like, okay, sure. they are too, un, like not confident enough. Yeah. But Kyonte and in Irang feel so different that they're like, I know what I'm bringing to the table. Yeah. It's very fascinating. It's really weird. I'm not going to pick them for my 12, but they did a great job. I cannot <laughs> so commit to that. I'm not going Unfortunately. I am going to pick as my favorite. Mm-hmm. Yuma? A 20, like literally a 25 year old acting like 12. And it, it's incredible. Insane. It's incredible. Insane. For the third time oh. in my life. Oh. A Hanbin has come to ruin my life. Lee Hanbin. Lee Lee Hanbin. Lee Hanbin. Is that number three? uh, Was just so good. He did the, he had the Yeonjun rap. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. But the people have spoken and they picked, they picked Hikari. Yeah. Yeah. I also, he, someone that I was like, also someone that was really. I mean, like he was really great. Soki was great. Hyunbin was great. Yuma was great. It was a really, honestly, Kaden was pretty good too. Like it was yeah. a very solid group. It was a. It was. I mean, they they said in their remarks that they were like, it's debut ready. Yeah. And so I agree. debut them. Say so debut them, and just have them do TXT covers. And just have them do. They're the eighteens of Abba. Perfect. <laughs> Finally, Deja Sky. <laughs> Stupid. Deja Vu by A.T.'s Miss Vampire. Salmon wanted Baby, all the you parts. you know I love a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Salmon wanted all the parts. Taysom was like, you can't take all the parts. I want parts. Parts, parts, parts. But then, like, Junwon was, like, also wanted parts but would not. He was getting the Matthew treatment of, like, he keeps going for it, but then they always pick the other person. Yes. And he is very shy and introverted 
in in like backstage. Yes. Just very crazy. Like he's fully like so reserved, not really like going for the things that he wants. Yes. The only reason why he went for that rap was because Taeson was like, I think Jenron wants to say something. I think he wants to go for this rap line. And, and then, then they still <laughs> didn't give it to him. Well, and then in the talking head, Taeson was like, I keep seeing him practice it over and over yes. again all day. And yet yes. he's not saying it. Correct. I thought it was interesting that Hong Sung Min could have, the narrative could have been framed very similarly to k um, I guess not technically really the same. No, because he he got the part that he wanted because he was like, I want to go for the vocal part. Unlike right. Kesel, who was like, I want, I want to go for the go part for the that I'm not, I'm not suited for. Yeah. But I just thought that the presentation of the two were mm-hmm. different, even though they were similar in, similar in some ways. But yeah. who's your one? Who's your pick? Well, first of all, I have to know what you think uh, thought of this because you were like, I'll say my thought. Yeah, there was a moment. Okay, to be completely honest, when we were watching the full cam, yeah. I was like, I don't think I'm fully invested in Hong Sung Min yet. There was just like something missing. And then you turned on his fan cam. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh no, I think he's just doing the concept. Uh-huh. He's so in the concept. And then comparing it to Taesan. Right. Taesan is a little more blank in his face. I think he purposely chose that, like, I'm going to just like brood and look, but there was, if you think about it, it's like, uh, a, uh, evolving range. I feel like Taesan is in like, I'm, I'm fulfilling the part. Sure. Sungmin is like, I'm, I'm like breathing life a little bit more into it. Yeah. And then Shiryu is like, I am a monster from the dark that I have arisen for the first time in like millennia. Yeah. And I am like eating. So, so your one pick is Jun Wan. <laughs> <laughs> All that to say, it sounds so boring to say that my one pick is Song Min, but it's between Song Min or Shiryu for sure. Because I felt like they truly embodied you it. You have to pick one. Like You're in the audience. You have to pick one. I'll pick Shiryu. I picked Song Min. <laughs> but do you get what I mean? Like he was like. No, I don't. Because from the beginning, I was you like. felt like he. You really I felt it. like he. I think I think it is him and Shiryu yeah. who do the best at being like dark, but like there's Mis- like a little sinister mis- yes. mischievousness. Yes. Um, I think Shiryu's was a little bit smilier than I think yes. it needed to be, but like I I don't think like Sungmin is like a flawless executioner. I still think he like he can needs, be sharper. He needs to be sharper on his yes, dance and like his sure. vocals can be like perfected yeah. a bit more. Um and like I my I also think Junwan did really good. I just feel like he didn't have enough to do during the song to like fully stand out for yeah. me. But I did love that hair color on him and he should actually dye it that color. Sungmin really like got the song you know what it and is what they were doing with the song it's the facial yes him and shiryu were like really the only one that was doing you know what it reminded me of shiryu reminded me of when tuki from billy was doing the ginga minga yo like <laughs> iconic like, dress iconic <laughs> queen of like facial expressions shiryu was giving me that yes but like songmin was also like really the only other person doing like dynamic facials of like I'm so serious, and all of a sudden I'm smiling because, like, I am relishing in how evil it is. Yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah. mean? You're falling for it. Yes. So, yeah. I think Junwan did this too, but he would only have his facials turned on when it was his History. part. And if he did it the whole time, I think I would have picked Junwan because I do think he is a, because I think he has a better set of skills at this point than. Sung Sung Min. Min? Uh, yeah, I, I think they're like it's so close, but I do think he's like his moves are a little sharper and his like voice is a little bit that's more why, stable. That's why I feel like I keep putting them together because it's like I want to combine them into one person. I know. And then that would be like a standout. But part. like Sungmin and Shiryu, the whole time, just watch it, go watch their fan cams. They are doing the entire song with those facial expressions and like playing in and out of it. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. It's so cool. I also do want to say, um, I think Taeson is really good. And I think his tone, like his vocal tone is so clear. It sounds really good. 
I did want to shout that out because I do think he has a really pleasant voice to listen to. Yes. And I also want to shout out TK. He was. Except those colored contacts. Oh, yeah. We I need can't. to stop. We got to stop we doing? the color contacts too. I mean, at least it works because it's like vampires. Vampire? So you're supposed to be like unnerved, but. TK also, I think, did a great job, like blended really well. It, it, I was like, is this a barn? Cause all I'm seeing is a bunch of stables. Cause like true. <laughs> sorry, that wasn't funny, but truly like <sighs> this one was the one where I was like, I don't know who, I mean, like I figured it out, but you could have picked any seven of these people. And I would have been like, that makes sense why yeah. you would choose them. Cause they're all so strong. So, and the winner here was Hong Sung Min. Hong Sung Min. They got it right. Even that little bit he did in the beginning of like, can you show us like a fatally attractive facial expression? And he was like, okay, count me to three. One, two, three. And then he did it. That's what I mean. I need that. So I good. need more of that from everyone else. Yeah. It's really good. So allegedly there's an elimination of five trainees. Girl. They show like. What is this show? They show 36 <sighs> and then they show six. And then the episode is over. What is going on? Yes, they're getting rid of five trainees. And then Santa gets six. And somebody else gets 37. I don't remember who it is. Yeah. So great. Adam was so mad. He was like, what? What was the point of that? Just save it. Just save it. Just open the thing and be like, there's going to be an elimination. Save. Go to next. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even what have to. What was the point of showing me Santa getting six and then blurring the entire back? Was there a sale at the acrylic store for those chairs? <laughs> Truly, how are they the exact same chairs from Boys Planet? How are they the same chairs? I'm I am so serious <laughs> right now. Was there a clearance sale? Was there a going out of business? Was there a warehouse sale? CB2 looking ass. Okay. Twelves. Twelves. In number 12, I have k -Sol. Now, I <laughs> thought while watching this episode, I was like, this is a good palate cleanser. I think everyone needs a week off from k -Sol Yeah. Where they don't, like, remember. That you're allowed to, like, forget, right? The, the media cycle is so quick nowadays. <laughs> it's easy to forget something. And then at the very end, when they got the benefit... Because everybody got two, all the all the people who got first place got two thousand points, except him and I don't even remember who he split it with. But they got Gino. oh yes, they split it with a thousand each. And so he was like, I might as well have not even gotten the benefit. And I was like, how? Do s reflect, reflect, Kaso. But it's all the same day. It's all the same time. Maybe he'll watch the show and be like, oh, I'm not giving what I thought I was giving. And then we'll do, you know, we'll do some healing. I don't know. I think he's going to see it and go, damn, I more need to this, double down. More of this. Because look at all the screen time I'm getting. But he's 12, so he could drop off in any minute. Number 11 is Kang Daehan. Mm, a man. Number 10 is Yuma. Because no one is going to lean into Aegyo to the to the level that Yuma is. He was fully Yuma getting was the sound so ego that everyone in the audience was like, oh. <laughs> it was kind of incredible. And I like, you know what? Go for it. Truly go for it. I like to. Then is my asthma king Yun Jae. Oh, good. Number eight is Hikari. And number seven is Hikaru. <gasps> okay. The Heeks. The Heeks. Number six is Santa. I'm keeping you in the same spot from last week. Also, apparently I match the actual elimination lineup. So it's just so dumb. Also, Santa was good and he did not deserve sixth spot. Yaya did deserve seventh. I'll, <laughs> I will say that. I'll say Yaya deserved seventh, but I don't think Santa was sixth. I don't think he was the best in the group. Otherwise, I would have said he was the best in the group, but I don't think he was sixth. I was, my, telling, in my, I was telling Adam, I wish he had picked a different one because I think he would have had a better chance of standing out in something else. I do want him to cut his mullet. Yeah, this is the one trend that came back that I'm not really, I'm not a fan of the fashion mullet. I just think it works for some people. I just don't think it works on everyone. And I don't, I don't think it's totally working for Santa. Yeah. 
I don't think it looks bad, but I don't think it's the best look for him. But it does make him stand out because no one else has one. Yeah. So, um, number five is Kang Irang. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Listen. So you want a minor to debut. Okay. (laughs) I want... Mm. I didn't pick Caden. Yeah. He's not ready. (laughs) Right. Because of his... He needs training. I think Kangi Rang could be ready. I also, honestly, if we want to be really honest, I do think Hyante could be, like, debut ready. I... It's just... And no, I mean, like, there's like a morality, ethical mm-hmm. conversation to be had, and I'm not having that today. So, number five is Kang Rang. Number four is Moon Hyun Bin. Yeah, he ate. Eight. Number three is Shiryu. Because I want that. I want his that. dance break was crazy. Yeah. I mean, I was like, truly, and then go watch his van cam because he is. Popping his pussy like no one else. He is blending in with everybody else. I don't think he's like too standing out that it's like obvious. But like when you watch it, you're like, it is so you make are making this look effort like yeah. effortless. It's yeah. crazy how good he is. Uh, number two is Hong Sung Min and number one is Yu Jun Won. Wow. Okie dokie. I think those are my two going forward. Really? I have been mixing up my top, like, one, two, threes. Mm. I I have a different... I have had three different one, two, threes. I've done the same, too, every week. Number 12 is Yuma. Mm-hmm. Eight. I thought it was so funny how when he was like, mm, 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 mm. everyone was truly horrified. There was, like, they cut <laughs> to a girl in the audience who was like, it was so funny. And I want that. I want the... I just... I want that. I want that energy. It's... I... I I think it's very fun. Yeah. Fuck the patriarchy. I, I get... I get why people, like, are react are against it. it. Um, and that's a totally valid reaction. Yeah. Uh, but for me, it works. So... Yeah. I want it. I think it's funny. Uh, number 11 is TK. Like I said, I thought that he felt very stable and blended in with that group that I, I'm seeing the potential, potential, I'm seeing the potential in him that he can be given a concept and he can adapt. Well. And he's 13th. He was 13th place in the last one. Yeah. So he's like, he's close. Yeah. Thank you. Number 10 is Jun Wan. Okay, I'm going to have to listen to the rest of these before I can give An my opinion. opinion on where his placement is in this line. I think it's just I, he needs to own in, own up to his uh, confidence a little bit No, more. that's his charm. Mm. I don't think it's that he's not confident. <laughs> I think it's that I don't I don't find it to be confidence. Okay. I find it to be like he is not as extroverted and able to like speak up, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's like a confidence thing. I, mean, I, I don't in, think he's still he's, in the group. Yeah. And positions don't matter. As I've said, I said on our last episode from boys planet. Yeah. Number eight is Hasoki. He was the main vocal in crown. Mm-hmm. He got second and it was funny. Cause they were like, Oh, I'm not ranking high. It's a visual. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. And then everyone was shocked that he was number two. And then so Yon, I think, or one of the 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 producers were like, I think the audience could tell that he was like a stable vocal and like his yeah. skills were really good. Yeah. So more of that. I do genuinely think that the show is has not enough variety element to it. Oh. Where I where are the videos of them like having fun? Or even like YouTube see, videos. I need to see personalities. Where's Not, all the backstage content? Yeah. Because I can just, I just know from the little that I've seen. that Where's Soki Planet ha- Camp Tour? That's what I'm looking for. Where's Fantasy Boys Dorm Tour? I need Yuma and Kaisel to walk around doing Planet Camp Tour. And I'm so not kidding when I say that. Yeah. I just know that Soki has a personality that I just like, haven't seen really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just haven't seen. I agree. Fully go out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Number eight is Santa. Okay. <laughs> a little lower. But like I said. Where was he last week for you? He was number three last week. And I was telling Adam, he kind of dances a little bit like a little boy. Like he's like so excited to be doing it. And I love that. But I do want his skills to be like continually be trained and tested because I think he does have it. I don't understand why <laughs> these shows keep doing Boy in Love for the BTS song. It's hard. Because it's 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 just like an energy that doesn't... It's a very 2013, 2014. Yeah. Idols today huh. aren't that energy anymore. Correct. So they're not training for it. It's like they're doing a, a caricature version of it. Correct. I yeah. like fire would be like a better one. Fire is like a good fire song. would be a better. Yeah. Thing. If you're going to go with like a still old school BTS. Did you not number them? No, I'm 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 moving positions oh. manually right now. Wow, yeah. she's updating in real time. In real time. The next one is Hong Sung Min. Okay, I'm fast. I ha I'm so interested to know who your top six are. Uh, let me just keep. Let's just power through. Let's just power through. Number seven is Hong Sung Min. Number six is Moon Hyun Bin. Okay. I think he ate. He ate up crown. Yeah. Uh, number five is Shiryu. Okay. Number four is Daehyun. Boy in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number three is Lee Han Bin. Here we go. Another Han Bin has has. Okay, wow. I truly think Han Bin did the best in in Crown. He was the one that captured me the most. Sure. Number two is Ling Chi, and number one is Hikaru. Oh. I genuinely think Hikaru did the best out of all of the four performances that we saw today. I really felt that he was stable. Okay, but you're also markedly biased. But I'm also so markedly biased. So whatever. Take that with a grain of salt. All the charms that he was giving was working for me, honey. Yeah. Sorry. Hate he, to tell he's you. He's so tall. How tall is this man? <laughs> he looked like he was like six feet tall. Yeah. I don't know how tall he is. Now, okay. I'm not going to pick. Unlike Adam, I'm not picking an underage person in my 12. So I'm already like morally better than him, okay. but I will be sending a very nice letter to th three sets of parents. Okay. <laughs> Congratulating him on their children. Yes. Great. On a job well done today at their presentation. I am sending a letter. At the recital. At the recital. Yes. I'm sending a letter to Caden's parents. Great. Because he, despite like not having that like voracious appetite, if you watch his fan cam, he's like really enjoying performing up there. There were even moments where he was like smiling with like with Hanbin. And I was like, this is so fun. Like it was giving that energy. Yes. Hyun Tae. I will write on the letter though that he probably should have thought something else about his costume. I mean, he obviously didn't pick that. They, but they they assign it. They assign that. And then I would give a glowing letter to Kang Mi Rang's parents. Sure. Covered in stickers. A true delight in class. He was such a good energy. Pleasure he, to have in class. Pleasure to have in class. Mm -hmm. Every, all of his classmates like love working with him. Mm -hmm. He is so happy all the time. Yeah. Um, can't wait to see great things to come for him. Great. Yeah. And that's fantasy. Boys. I'm putting him in my group. <laughs> so drop the comments now and be like, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Well, hire a great, you know, nanny, a great child wrangler. I just, here's the, here's how I feel about it is like, am I probably going to vote for Kang Yenong? No, but they're not going to, they're going to put an underage person in the group. I just they like. They already did it in one. So. Right. I just, it's like, they always do. I'm not saying it's like good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's going to happen. So I would rather have it be someone who is like a very strong in their talent. So at least like they don't have to feel like. Like imagine if they were like Yure, we're putting you. We're debuting, we're debuting you, right you. Like he he's, would he's going to have out. the situation of being like under, I mean like. There are 20 year olds that I don't think should even be able to handle. It, yeah. I don't I don't think any I don't think humanity has reached a point yet where we have evolved enough to understand how many million people 
like how many people could like you could be a celebrity to. Yeah. I don't think we understand that. My point being then throw on top of like and also like I'm not super confident in my abilities. So I would rather have someone at least who's like, I know that I can do this well. Yeah. And like Hyante, Kang Young, they would be fine. Yeah. In that regard. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And that's Fantasy Boys. The Emperor's. <laughs>